Welcome to Michael's Mailbox. You missed it. I you did. missed it last week. Hey, everyone, it's Joe nice and... Michael! From bullionnowbullionnow.com.au. It's Michael's Mailbox. It is. What do we do? So what we're doing here is just going back through some of the comments from the previous week from YouTube, mm-hmm. um, answering the ones that maybe are a little bit bigger, a little bit more complex, or ones that um, have been asked a number of times in a different set of ways, so that way we don't have to keep typing out the same answer 15 times. Because we we're lazy. Yeah, oh, I guess you could look at it. <laughs> no. Efficient. I Be- like to think of it as efficient. Because this is quicker and easier. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So, what do we got? Actually, it uh, cracked me up. We released a video about 36, 38 minutes ago, according to this, and we've already got 15 or 16 comments on it, so we might start there. All right, cool. So this is the We're Having a Party and You're Invited. So this is about the release of the 2022 Perth Mint Bullion Coin Series, which we're releasing live streaming on Wednesday, the yeah. first at 9.15am. Yep. Just a bit of a plug there. And it's a party. Um, yeah, it is. So from Michael uh, Patnord, let's see if they can beat the Series 2 Tiger. Doubt it, it's my thumbnail. Actually, I really like the Series 2. Mm. But I've got to say, I think they've done a fairly good job on this one um, with the silver. The gold, I'm on the fence, um, but the silver I quite like. But all will be revealed. Yeah. I like the look of the 22 kookaburras and koalas. Correction, kangaroos. Um, this is from Crate Gainer. I saw pictures of them in the Perth Mint booklet. That would be the booklet that we're not allowed to release yet. So <laughs> not sure where you've got that from. Not from us. Um, but yeah, uh, we're actually not allowed to let that out yet. Um, that's still under embargo. So um, yeah, I, I actually really like the cook. But as I'll make comment on Wednesday, there's a bit of a bit of a thing about it that I'm still not fully convinced about. But that's okay. Um, Crypto Warrior 82 I'm excited Two more sleeps <laughs> Wayne Ryan Parties are illegal in Victoria Yeah not this type of party This one's online They'll let us do this one um, So there's a, quite a number of people Saying that they will uh, They will be there Which is really good um, Andrew Best Looks like I'm, I will be broke again um, Heck yeah I'm born in the year of the tiger That's from Kane Friday um, So is there cake Yes we will probably organise cake. Indoor fireworks. We actually talked about that one. That's from um, Peter Grace, me guide. Um, we actually talked about that one. I'm just really worried about the smoke de- de- detectors in the building. So otherwise we'd go right ahead with it. So let's see what we can organise. Is there nothing that you don't have a little hand in somewhere? Like, if you, you, you know a, uh, a fireworks guy. Do you know what I mean? I like might you, know a fireworks yeah, guy. or two. <laughs> I might know a fireworks guy. The trouble is they all produce smoke. Well, mostly produce smoke. So I'm a little bit worried about that one. Yeah. Um, we did an epic unboxing this week of Platinum and Gold. It was a, actually a really good one. Um, <laughs> and of course, to start off with Vato, V-A-T-O-E. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Not sure, sure that Michael being granted bigger knife privileges was such a great idea. Obviously, someone else agreed with you because... Somebody sent me a steel mesh set of gloves this week. (laughs) I'm going to make you wear that. (laughs) So uh, that was from um, Alan. So I sent those through. So thanks thanks much. Uh, What else we got here? Um, So Jason Rupert. My wife wanted diamonds for her 10 year wedding anniversary today, but she got two ounces of platinum instead. I'd take the platinum any day. Um, Stacy, does the Perth Mint release fractionals for their gold emu coin? No, they don't. Um, I know, I like how you're Australian, you still do an Australian accent when doing that. That's not a knife quote. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you mean that that's not a knife? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. This is a knife. So, Gertrude Perkins, the Austrian gold coins are beautiful. Um, they are. That's actually one of Joe's favourites. Uh, the Austrian Philharmonics? Yeah. 100% love them. Um, so Stacy from Queensland I'm new to this and love learning and listening in just made my third purchase with you over a short period do you know if you're getting any silver and gold buffaloes in funnily enough stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned if we can get through this quickly enough we might be filming them later on today uh-huh. um, so unboxings are great there's a lot of support for the unboxings um, <laughs> I agree with this one Sublime, sub, subliminal vibes. Welcome back, Joe. Now it's Michael's turn to have a doing a day. Totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, platinum has better luster because it's far more resistant to oxidation. That is correct. Although it has a more, it, it doesn't start off as shiny either. We usually find the silver coins are, are shinier. Um, Zach, if I'm ordering, ordering from the UK, how long should I expect to wait for delivery? Um, usually it's fairly quick. We're usually um, packaged and sent out within 48 hours. However, we're having slight delays with FedEx at the moment, so that could stretch it out a little bit. But usually you have it in your hot little hand within a fortnight. Um, ordering from overseas. Um, <laughs> from Peter Grace again. Partial reading looks like a tractor tyre. It does. I've thought that a couple of times. Um, here we go. From Michael. If you could only invest in one precious metal, would you choose gold, silver or platinum? So he's had two other responses, one from gold and one gold or rhodium. What would you answer on that one, mate? Uh, depends on my age, depends on my risk tolerance. Um, if I was an older, older gentleman getting towards the retirement age, I'd say gold. If I was a young whippersnapper, I'd say silver. But right now, platinum's probably the best play. Yeah. So it really depends. I'd say platinum. Because of right now. Because of right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've talked about this a, a few yeah. times now, yeah. Uh, you forgot the hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not down down that one. Uh, um, here we go. AY is trying to educate you, Joe. Oh. Sorry, Joe, but the US Mint tubes look like that in which silver eagles are housed in with, in with the US Mint logo printed on top. I know that. Green yep. lid for silver, red lid for gold, yep. orange lid for gold buffaloes. The tube in this video is a custom-made tube that commonly houses US gold coins. It's not an official tube. Aha, uh -huh. so I was correct, though. You was correct. Thank you, thank you. I didn't provide that <laughs> link, and I proved that, you know, that was the, uh, tec well, technically not an official American Eagle tube. But That's correct. they do use them. Yeah. Um, so, the next video was the 5-ounce Super Pit. Um, which was a bit of a surprise to all of us, actually. It sold really um, quickly. Yeah, I, the selling really quickly didn't shock me that much. Mm -hmm. It's really, I mean, they only made 500 of them. They only kept 25 in Australia. We took 15 of them, Perth Mint kept 10. Um, and to be honest, I would have taken more if I could have. Um, they were always going to be as rare as hen's teeth, and they disappeared. I want to say within 48 hours, I actually think it was less. Mm. Um, and don't forget, we're talking... Somewhere around about 13K? 11. Yeah, about 13k. About 13k each. Yeah. So they're not cheap coins. Australian dollars. Um, but yeah, they, those sort of things go really quickly. And not financial advice, they do make good investments over the longer term because there's just so few of them and they don't resurface onto the secondary market very often at all. And I apologise, my phone is ringing in the background. Um, so from Robin Murray, I find the super pit an unusual design. To me, it's like putting a bleached grey... Great barrier reef on a coin. It's impressive pit, though, I must say, and I do love gold. Yeah, so i, I got to say, I'm a bit on the fence on the design. I, I, I kind of like what it represents. I'm just not huge on the design itself, but i got to say, on a five-ounce gold coin, you could pretty much put anything, and it looks good. Yeah, the detail is cool. <laughs> have you been to the Super Pit? It's I like, have. Not for really? many years, but I have been there. Yeah. Oh, give, for people who haven't, can you give any kind of impression of how bloody big it is? No, but you've got to remember, I grew up down in La Trobe Valley where we've got big um, open-cut coal mines. Uh, so okay. to me, it looked like an open-cut coal mine on steroids. Um, but when you realise all of that is gold, that's where you start going, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so And you see these little trucks, they're about this big, and they're right down the bottom, and then when you get close to one, you realise that the tyre on it is two or three times your height. Wow. So it just, yeah, it's it's mind-bending. That's cool. Um, so from T-Mont on music, collecting gold and silver coins is so awesome. Wish I could have got into this when I was younger. Definitely going all in it on since the dollar, um, slowly dying every day. Yeah, not trying to get political on it, but uh, you, you can't go too far wrong with this sort of thing. Um, can't wait for the unboxing. We will still do an unboxing on them. Um, even though uh, they've all sold, we'll actually unbox and show the real thing. So if you haven't seen the video yet, we could only show the promo material because Perth Mint hadn't dispatched them out at that point. Um, so from CM, a bullion coin is fab when its design is beautiful. Um, limited mintage will no doubt help its future collector value. Yeah, like I said, it's 
it's an interesting one to go ahead, but on a on a five ounce gold coin, anything looks good. Um, I like it. Five. This is from Gil um, Balfus. I like it. Five inch gold Perth mint coin is the dream. Just don't have a spare thirteen k in the bank account right now. Completely understand that one. Um, yeah, it's unusual, um, and that's something else that drove the interest in it was that I actually can't think of any other five ounce gold coins that Perth mint has produced. I'm sure there are some. Can't think of any off the top of my head, but it's very rare that they produce them. So it's on several levels. It had that collectability to it, and I think it'll do well in the secondary market. Um, so Bill Dixon, have you got any Lunar Tiger coins yet? Funnily enough, we actually have a sample here. Um, but we will do the big release on the 1st of September. You will see the designs, and then uh, you can place orders from the 13th of September. And we will, I believe, I'm not going to be quoted on this one just yet, I believe Perth Mint's suggesting that they will be all dispatched on the 23rd of September, but I'm not swearing to that date uh, uh, yet, but we'll see. That's the kind of time frame that we're looking at at this stage. Um, so, uh, next video. Comparing security features. This was a fantastic video. Um, this one was done by Joe and Matt, um, and they did a great job on it. Except a couple of things. Ah, oh, yeah, but... Well, you, you say it. Uh, quickly, we uh, looked at the Britannia, and uh, it has about four or five different security features, but we yeah. only actually mentioned two of them, so we apologise for that. And we're actually going to make a separate Britannia silver coin security yeah. feature video. Yeah, look, the, the Royal Mint have gone all out with their security features on the Britannia, but far in excess of anyone else that I'm aware of. Yeah. Um, when you compare them to some of the other major mints and their lack of security features right. or their basicness of their security features, you kind of wonder. But the Royal Mint, yeah, full marks to them. Yeah, but in that video, we go over about five or six different coins. Yeah, yep. so it's pretty good. Drew Stork, awesome video, guys. Can't go past a bit of free knowledge. Britannia is my favourite, hands down. It's one of my, definitely one of my favourites. Um, I'd have to chase this one up, AY. Eh? I thought the first Silver Kangas were 2016. I don't believe so. But uh, I can't tell you exactly which year. Um, so according to Wikipedia, the Kanga started in 2015. Um, that could be quite true. Um, but from memory, they were much lower mintages then. Um, so this is from Paul Pyrrhus. The micro engraving on the Perth Mint coins shift around from year to year and change letters from coin to coin. E.g. Ruse to Cooks. Um, ASCs have a unique and recognisable ping pitch. Um, and length of resonance. Yeah, that's one's a bit subjective. And uh, for people like me who have hung around jet engines for way too long, it doesn't work real well. <laughs> <laughs> and the Type 2 AC having a missing read. Um, yeah, look, the missing read one. Honestly, guys, if that's your only security feature, pull your socks up. Um, culture of currency. Uh, I'm famous now. Thank you so much for the shout-out. You've made my year. Not only did we do a shout-out, but Matt has done a video. I did an interview with um, Culture of Currency, a currency, which um, we're currently reviewing and will probably release uh, in the not too distant future. So they've had a really good conversation. So you're more than welcome. Thank you for doing the follow on video and hopefully we'll see that up really, really soon. Some really great information in that one. Um, so Guam, the Guam stacker. I wonder if you're from Guam. I haven't been out there for a long, long time. Used to fly planes into there. Uh, I think you guys forgot to mention Britannia Shield is also, yep. So the guys are going to go into a bit more detail of the Royal Mint security features. Um, so that's all good. Um, lots of uh, thanks to Matt and Joe in here, which is great to see. Um, so Trump 2024, uh, no comment on the uh, handle there. For the security features, does that mean people can't counterfeit them? Or does that give you an idea if they are real? Um, it doesn't mean that they can't counterfeit them. It gives you a, something to look out for, um, but it's not bulletproof. You've got to remember that. But having said that, particularly on silver coins, for someone to go to all of that, all of that hassle to try and replicate those levels of security features, um, people aren't like they're just. It's not worth it for um, for particularly the silver coins. So. It makes it far more likely that you've got the real thing in your hand, but you can't beat, again, testing them with XRFs or um, ultrasonic, those types of things. Um, and again, you can never go past a good operator, which is why A, source them from a, a reliable source, 
like a bullion dealer that's going to put their reputation behind it. Um, or if you haven't, get them checked by a bullion dealer who's got a good reputation. That's the two uh, provisos I'd stick in there as well. Um, so this is from two axis lather mo la lathe monkey. Two axis, oh, two axis lathe monkey. Ugh, sometimes. Uh, sadly, the US Mint with unlimited resources has no security features until 2021 and apparently a missing read is what they came up with. Um, it, it is sad that here in the US a missing read is what they came up with. Yeah, look, I, I agree. I know I'm going to get smacked by the US Mint for this, but, um, you know, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's have a crack. Um, so, uh, STI Custom, well done. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I knew the fakes of the kangaroos had misaligned the points, but didn't know about the microcast A. <laughs> now I have to buy a microscope. <laughs> um, so we definitely missed some... This is from Lee Mont. Definitely missed some security features on the Britannia. You're correct. Um, yeah, so a few more saying the, the same things. The HD um, Dyna Lowrider. The Britannia is beautiful. Too bad they can't get their milk spot issue solved and other quality issues. I actually believe they have. Don't quote me on it. I think they're doing far better now. All the coins will be worth spot. There's no point buying. Look, um, milk spotting doesn't drive the price or the premium of them to um, to spot. Even some of the ugly milk spots, if it's synonymous with the year, you'll actually find that quite often, um, okay, they look a bit ugly, but you'll actually find quite often they still maintain their premium. Um, so don't don't be in despair. Some of the older maples, the maples are renowned for their milk spotting, the older ones. Um, they still hold their premium. Yeah, they're a bit ugly, but they still hold their premium. So don't don't cast them away just because of that. We say it many, many times over that I, and you maybe too, uh, less suspicious of a milk spotted maple <laughs> yeah. from 2010 Absolutely. than a perfectly looking 2010 maple. Yeah, if you've got a clean 2010 maple... I'm tell you what, I'm running I'm it through the it. XRF <laughs> yeah. and the ultrasonic and yeah. the, probably going to give it a drill test and the whole lot because I don't know as I've ever come across one from that era that's not milk spotted. So, yeah, there is that to it as well. Um, all right, next video was the gold Robin Hood, which um, didn't fail to disappoint. Did I say that the right way around? Didn't, didn't fail, fail to didn't. live up to expectations. It was a good coin. <laughs> was what I was trying to say. Translation, <laughs> it was a good coin. <laughs> yes. Um, so the Midnight Gardener, what a striking design. Totally agree. Thank you for sourcing these Robin Hoods. Um, when will you be stocking those beautiful handcrafted knives? I don't think we will ever stock those knives, particularly not in store. Um, Tyler Parker, a beautiful coin. Looking forward to seeing the others in the series. I am too. Um, so the B-roll is amazing. Props to the cameraman. That was from Michael. Um, yeah, lots of beautiful coins. Um, so this one from E-Man. Epic indeed. Great show. Really enjoyed watching the channel evolve. Oh, and add extra dimensions. B-roll, social security, knife tangents, while still maintaining an honest and genuine view. Thanks for that. Let's, for not, let's not forget the Aussie Delph self-deprecating humour to boot. I think this effort will reward you once the precious metal um, gets out of the funk they are currently in. Look, to be honest, we love doing the videos anyway. They're a lot of fun. Um, and it was one of our main goals was, look, don't get me wrong, we promote our, our product in there and obviously it works from a marketing perspective. But one of the things that we really like to do is to educate and that's what the website allows, uh, sorry, the YouTube allows us to really do. Progressive gold bug. Michael made that box look like a crime scene. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Um, Scott T, love this coin, currently own both the gold and the silver versions of the Robin Hood and the Maid Marion. Royal Mint is, Royal Mint is near me in South Wales. Um, one of the great reasons to live in South Wales, amongst many others. It's a beautiful area of the world. Um, Michael, don't hurt me, Todd. Gold coin uh, box for Robin Hood's a lot smaller than the silver one. Yeah, this, the coins are smaller because they're more dense. So a one ounce silver coin is larger than a one ounce gold coin. Um, we're in our action league now. Maybe. Uh, what else have we got there? Bullion now epic unboxing knives as merch would be cool. 
No. <laughs> oh, I could get into that one. Big unboxing knives. Yeah. Didn't we just say we wouldn't sell knives? No, I won't do them in the store, but my order. Oh. I think that's Are you a serious? Fan- I think that's a fantastic idea. Okay. <laughs> now we have to pay this person a commission for the <laughs> yeah, that's idea. That's right. <laughs> uh, em- Not- epic. Okay. All right. We'll think about it. Yeah. I mean, do anything like that. I think that's a great idea. Now we're selling knives on our website. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> not yet. Okay. Just thinking about it. All right. SAW, not sure if that knife is OHS compliant. Probably not. I'm sure WorkSafe will have a few questions if an employee cuts themselves. That's all right. I'm not an employee. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. All legalities aside. Uh, somebody wants to get my fingernails seen too. If you saw what I got up to on weekends, it wouldn't be, what do you call it, a manicure? Yeah. yeah it's just, it wouldn't work for me. Fair enough. It'd be a what, waste of money. What do you get to up get up to on weekends? Oh, uh, look, I live in the country, so anything and everything. Right. So chainsaws and motorbikes and i got four boys and a tomboy for kids and we get up to all sorts of crazy things. So, yeah, even my wife's given up on manicures. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work. <laughs> So, I will apologise in advance. Um, So, moving on. This is, actually, this is uh, from last week's um, mailbox. So, a few comments on there. Tyler Parker, I love that Michael takes the time to address um, questions. It's always very helpful and great to see the interaction. Thanks for answering my question about entry-level gold. I think I'll definitely start building up the unallocated gold program until I can trade for some physical gold. Yeah, look, it's it's a great idea. And, I mean, I'm going over old ground here, but... Um, our unallocated is physically backed. It's a great way to purchase smaller amounts and then not have to pay the massive premium on like a one gram bar or that type of thing. And then when you get to a decent size, you can convert it over to those larger sizes so you're not paying the massive premium in the in the short term. Or save up for uh, a Tiger release. Save up for the Tiger release, lock in today's spot price so you can then use it um, later on down the track. Um, so uh, lots of support for it from a lot of people. A lot of people, sorry there. Um, a few comments on the granules. Um, yeah, I don't know. We've had some pushback on the granules. Some people love it. We'll see what happens. Are we um, going to keep doing it? I don't know. If yeah. I'm completely they're honest, they're still on the website. They are still on the website. We yep. still have them in stock. Look, to be honest, we can always get them. Yeah. Um, you know, because it's that, as I said in the video, it's that middle stage of the refining casting pro- process where they turn it from its raw product, whatever that is, into granules, and then from granules into the final product. So one or the other, one or another of the refineries will uh, provide us with granules. So we can always source them if you're, if you're desperate for some. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, Calypso Moon, I missed your content due to COVID and work. Hope the team is well. Yes, we are. Um, we're having problems with the audio, and I don't know why. Um, and Snafer, I don't know if I've pronounced your name correctly. Find the audio is muffled and quiet when viewed on the TV, but loud and clear on my phone and or laptop, enjoying the content. So we actually had a discussion about that this morning, if we need to use preamps and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully, we're working on it. Hopefully we can come up with a solution. I'm not sure I'd want to view my ugly mug on television just quietly. <laughs> That'd be a bit too big, <laughs> a bit too in your face, but uh, that works for you, great. Dill Balfus, gold will always hold its value, although expensive, safest investment in the world. Um, agreed. And I actually had a conversation with a journo this afternoon, a journalist, about that very thing, about how over time it has maintained its value. Um, yeah, sorry about this. Um, I never know how to pronounce this one even either. Leonard Solis. Yeah, you know who you are anyway. When you said a while ago you probably wouldn't get type 2 eagles, I went and ordered some from the US. Ordered some other stuff that isn't available here. Guess I'll have to get some from you as well. Yeah, look, I'm sorry about that. I actually didn't expect the premiums to come down on the type 2. Um, so we were pushing back and just refusing to buy them at that point because I didn't want to get accused of price gouging. Um, the premiums have come back. They're still not back where I'd like them, but they're certainly back to a point where we can bring them into the country. Um, so we are getting some type 2s now. We've got the gold in stock, and I believe we've sold out and got some more in in the meantime. Um, We've got some Platinums coming if they're not back in stock, and um, we have some Silver. Type 1s have arrived. Type 2s will be arriving very, very soon. I'm not sure if I appreciate being called the B-Team, 
but I can cope with that. <laughs> <laughs> i got to say, Matt and Joe do a fantastic job, um, and Reuben, when they can convince him. Richard Guthrie, have you ever had the 400-ounce gold bar? I don't think we've ever had one in stock. I have had them before. I've never had one. I don't think we've ever had one actually in stock for sale. We are talking about bringing one in very soon. And um, doing what with it? Well, that's, that's actually the delay. We don't know what to do with it. Should we... Um, because we cut up the silver thousand ounce bar with the clumsily with the um, with the uh, with the saw. I don't know. We need to do something different with this one. Maybe we blow it up. Yeah, we need a bit more firepower. We'll, yeah. we'll put it that way. Yeah, maybe we could use STI. Get STI custom to, ah. to come in and give us a hand with it or something <laughs> like that. Uh, please, this is from Golden Reward. Please run the audio at max. Allow viewers to adjust the volume to suit at their end. I we're, believe that's what we're doing. We're trying. Um, so that's uh, yeah, that's why we're trying to muck around with it, trying other things. So rest assured, we are still trying. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll find a solution, but we are still having a crack at it. Uh, Rich Noddy. Well, I was scratching my head why the silver shot went up like $22 or 50 grand. Sorry, but thanks. If you want someone to blame, we'll point the finger at Joe because he's faking out that he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I screwed up and I went, <coughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Guys, I don't feel so well. Yeah. So, yeah, look, the pricing on that for a few hours was a bit all over the shop, but well, we've got it Well, let's just now. say Joe made a little boo-boo yeah. and some people got a really good deal. <laughs> uh, luck of the draw. Yeah. Um, now we've got another one here from Billy Steele saying the volume's fine. So, we never know. Um, Bill Galfus, my dream is to make a he's, he's right down your alley, mate. My dream is to make a mozza in crypto and then buy real coin from bullion now. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, will we see a day where PM goes nuts, so precious metal goes nuts, and crypto crashes? Uh, who knows? Well, who knows? I mean, that day would be, I imagine, if when the cycle flips over and people who have made a lot in the crypto cycle then cycle a portion or much of that portion into the precious metals. Yeah. So you might see that that flippening, possibly. Yeah, look, I agree. But I, I think it's always good to take... When you're making large... Not financial advice. When you're making profits in things, it's not a bad idea to pull some out. Absolutely. And diversify it away into, into a hard asset. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell you precious metals because I'm a bullion guy. But even into, you know, property at certain times and places... Um, you know, some investment grade collectibles, um, those types of things, just because you never know, like none of us have a crystal ball, um, you don't know what's going to happen, so it's not a bad idea just to siphon a little bit off, tuck it to the side in something different, just in case. It's even not a bad idea to, not financial advice, to have it in fiat currency, uh, because in case there's a a big dip in something, so you don't have to put it straight away in the hard asset, you can Hold a bit of dry powder back and, you know, yeah, absolutely. Buy, the, buy the dip. Yeah, look, that's that's another way to do it. Um, we all bag out fiat currencies, but they're great as a medium of exchange. I owe you $100, here you go, type of situation. Um, so if you can have some of that easily, here you go sort of stuff, it does allow you to buy things um, at certain times when the prices, uh, the bargains appear, if you like. Mm-hmm. But you also have to be, you have to weigh that out with, not missing out, I was making a comment to Joe earlier on with a crypto, believe it or not, and I'm not a big crypto guy, but I was looking for a crypto at a bargain price of $9 and it's now at near enough to $50. So the fact that I was just holding out for the bargain, I was all cashed up and waiting, means that I've missed out on a massive opportunity there. So you've got to balance the two out. Um... A few more, just a few more in support. Um, Last video was live in lockdown. There's only a few on here, so we'll just rip through these really quickly. So if you're not up with it, we've been doing live streams every Friday at 2.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time, 2.30 in the afternoon, not in the morning. Um, Except for this week, we're going to do one at uh, 9.15 on the Wednesday. Um, And I think we'll do one on the Friday as well, but we haven't kind of argued that one out yet. But definitely 9.15 on Wednesday, Australian Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday morning, for the release of the Bullion um, program for 2022 for the Perth Mint. We're even going to try and beat beat the West Australians in. So you will see it first in the world. It should be. released here. We think it will be. I reckon. Um, 
Unless people want to get up er earlier in, in WA, but you know. Yeah. Nah, probably not. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so, a lot of support for the uh, live stream. Um, oh, Aussie Kelpie. Great stream today, guys. It was great to finally find out when the Year of the Tigers were due to come out, even though the one I really want won't be out till Christmas time, which was disappointing, but okay, at the same time, as I can save the money for the rest. Excuse me. Um, uh, for the rest of the money I need after being stolen from a month ago. Ah, oh, that's no good, mate. That sucks. Yeah. Um, I look forward to seeing what they are each week, even if I don't get one of the special products. I was disappointed like many others... Um, because, uh, yeah, we didn't do a special last week. We didn't. Um, we will keep doing specials, but um, it probably won't be every week. But, uh, yeah, we had a week off last week while we're trying to work out how we do it. Um, getting a few pushbacks because of, um, you know, missing out and things like that. So we're just trying to come up with a better special or a better way to do it. Um, brand, this yank loves your videos. Does Australia have any Anzac silver rounds? They do. We haven't produced any for a while, though. Um, don't forget the Netherlands. We don't forget the Netherlands. That's from the Dutch woodworker. Um, so uh, I think even Joe had a shout out to some uh, some of the Dutch on Friday. I think. I think so. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Um, keep up the good work. This is from Tyler Barnfield. Um, when is the video of the refinery going to be posted? I need to talk to Ruben about that. He's tidying it up as we speak. Um, and that's about it. So. Unless Joe's got any others he wants me to do, um, I reckon we've rabbited it on long enough. Um, if there's any comments that we that you've made that we feel we haven't covered, um, just whack them in the comments below and we'll get to them um, on the live stream there, or um, we might even uh, go direct to you on a response. Um, look out for the live stream on Wednesday. Like I said, we're releasing the videos and we think we're going to be the first in the world. We're releasing the, the images of the um, 2022 Tiger, Kookaburra, Kangaroo, and Koala. Um, and then Friday we might do another live stream. There'll also be some other videos released and look out for some buffaloes and odd things like that coming to you very soon on this channel. All right, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, that's it from me. And from me too. We'll see you soon. See ya.